Hello, hello everybody. We are going to continue after quite a bit because life and brain and stuff. We're going to continue our journey through the Ace Attorney Trilogy. Last time we began Trials and Tribulations by having a flashback case where we played as Mia and uh, apparently get Phoenix right off of the off the stand because he was accused of murder. And he seemed like a very silly boy. But now we are here to see how we continue. Will Maya be accused of murder again? Because that seems to be the, like, continuing theme with second cases in these games. In the first game, she was accused of murdering her sister. In the second game, she was accused of murdering a doctor man who was getting a seance. Who's gonna be murdered this time? Is it going to be Morgan? Is, or like whatever her name was, the evil aunt who tried to frame Maya. Is she gonna turn up dead and they're gonna be like, she did it for revenge because her aunt was so mean to her and she wanted her dead? Like, what's gonna happen? What's gonna be? Cause yeah, oh yeah, didn't the freaking like begin case thing show that broken pot from the second game anyway? So it seems like we're gonna go back to the Kirane, like the, the the mountain village of the psychic women. We're gonna go back there. So let's go on trials and tribulations episode two. The Stolen Turnabout. I still wonder why it's called Episode and Not Case. At least in these menus. Alright, let's get on with it. The time is 1 a.m. Beep. Alright. Was that a video game startup sound? That's what it sounded like. Oh. Detective, we made it! Phew, what a relief. Glad the jewel is still safe. Oh no. <laughs> you said it, pal. It must have been our rock solid security that scared him off. Would you mind opening the safe just to double check? Alright, so somebody tried to steal. Or maybe they did steal. Fancy animation. Oh no. Ah! We've been had! Mask de mask salutations. Out uh, front! Guards! Turn on the surge lights! <laughs> Better luck next time, gentlemen! What is this, a part of a show? Max Galactica? <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm afraid I must be leaving now! My planet needs me! And my planet is the moon! We shall meet again! When the next moon is full. <laughs> so, so is this another TV show? Like, or is this actually happening? <laughs> because that was clearly uh, Gumshoe's, like, silhouette. But the motherfucker flew through the sky. So I assume that it was a TV show. I mean, Gumshoe was having rocky employment issues last game, so maybe he went into television playing a detective. Well, October 11th, 324. Hey, Nick, get a load of this. Oh, this is nice music. I don't know if it's a remix or if it's just reused, but it's just... Like, yeah, if it's a remix of the theme or if it's... I, it's been a while since I played, so I don't know. But it's just good. It's just grand. Hey, are you listening to me? You can clean the toilet later. This is important. I mean, Phoenix probably can't afford to hire a janitor, so... Let him clean his office, Maya. Uh, what are you freaking out about now? <laughs> Today will be the last time you talk to me that way. Huh? We're about to hit the big time. Big time? And what do you mean by we? You don't mean you and me are... Ha! <laughs> don't be silly. I'm talking about me and... Pearly, of course. Hello. It's a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Nick. 
pearls! You haven't changed a bit. Wait, what are you doing here anyway? <laughs> haven't you heard, Mr. Nick? Here, take a look at this! What's this? Some kind of poster? Treasure Exhibition. Curing Village. Curing Village? Isn't that... And why are they putting the... the... Also, the Ami uh, village urn, the pot, looks a lot more banged up than it did last time. <laughs> it looks a lot more banged up. But it still spells I am. Curing village, isn't that... That's right, it's our hometown, Pearly and mine that is. What's this about treasures from the boonies? <laughs> Very funny. You can laugh all you want, but you'll be singing another tune tonight. Tonight? What about tonight? The Treasures of Curing exhibit doesn't, act doesn't actually start until next week, but the promoter sent us some special VIP entry passes. That's why I dressed up extra special today. What do you think? You don't look any different. Heh, <laughs> same Maya. Different day. This young lady here is Maya Fay, and she is currently on trial for murder. <laughs> the younger sister of Mia Fay, my friend and mentor. I first met her two years ago. I was working on the case surrounding Mia's death, and ever since then, I've been the one who's been keeping this law office afloat from behind the scenes. Actually, that's just a cover for her true identity. In reality, she's a spirit medium and a bit of a shady character. Well, I mean, she has been put on trial twice for murder. So maybe she is a shady character? The world is kind of crazy. Hey, who are you calling shady? And this little girl is Pearl Fay, but I usually call her Pearls. She's Maya's cousin and a spirit medium in training herself. I know I'm a bit young, but I want to help in any way I can, Mr. Nick. Curane Village is the home to the mysterious Curane Channeling Technique. And Maya here is the daughter of the Curane School of Channeling's master. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's no joke. I've seen her power with my own eyes. It's the real thing, all right. Earth to Nick! How long are you going to make two gorgeous women like us wait? Yes, Mr. Nick. I can't wait any longer. I want to see the exhibit. Uh, looks like I don't get a choice here. Might as well head on out. Treasure exhibit poster added to the court record. October 11th, 7.18 p.m. Lordly Taylor. That's a weird name for a building, I guess, suppose. Main exhibit hall. Lordly Taylor, the city's fanciest and most expensive department store. Treasure exhibit, huh? I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> they even have a little, a little, uh, Model of the village. That's adorable. Wow, this is awesome! Yeah, you can make even the cheapest junk look great. It all depends on how you display it. Oh, they even have the dusty old hanging scroll that was in the Fay Manor storeroom! Oh yeah, I remember scribbling on it when I was a little girl. On a family heirloom? Say, Nick, the person in charge of this exhi exhibition is waiting for us in the basement warehouse. That's not ominous or anything. All right, I guess we should go and say hello. Let's examine, is that, well I don't see a bullet hole so I assume that's not the same one, but let's see. I think I remember this old folding screen here. I'm pretty sure it was an important piece of evidence. Nope, it is the same one, but there's no bullet hole. And that murder case that happened in Kirain Village. This folding screen is the greatest of all the spirit channeling secrets. The Six Leaf Curing Sacred Writings Folding Screen! If it's so secret, why is it the most prominent thing in the exhibit? Also, this is a nice music. It's just charming. It's kind of like upper crust and jolly. 
A piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Hmm, let's see. Here's the title in English. 108 ways to save money. I'm pretty sure the number has gone up since the last time I saw it. <laughs> well, we're always looking for new ways, you know. Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. What's with this big cushion? It's just laying around with nothing on it. <sighs> well, it must be for the greatest treasure of all. Greatest treasure? Is there something like that? Is there something like that? Huh? Why, of course there is. Right, Pearly? Oh, um, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll bet it would be really take your breath away. Oh, Mystic Maya, look! I can't believe it! Ah, it's so cute! It's a little diorama of the Curing Village! Yeah, look at that. But somehow it seems to reek of dreariness. Oh, Mystic Maya, it's your house! It even says Fae Manor on it! Yikes, you're right! You kind of want to add the famous in front of it. Don't do it, Maya. They might get mad. How dare you graffiti your own home. They're just a bunch of old urns. Are these really treasures, too? Of course they are. This is a treasure exhibit. It, my brain wanted to add more to that for some reason. This is a treasure exhibit, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess so. So all it takes to be a treasure is age. No wonder nobody likes museums. And I'm sure that all the people who do enjoy <laughs> museums just got angry. Also, I just realized, like, the roof is very fancy. Everything is fancy here. Well, let's check the court record. I still have the Magatama. Doesn't seem like there's anything, so we're gonna save. And... Move to the basement. This place reminds me of rising from the ashes. It reminds me of where murder took place. It even has a phone. That's always the that's always the cause for evil. Yep, this is a basement. Basement warehouse, all right. This place is scary. I feel like a monster could jump out any time. Don't be scared, Pearly. I'll protect you. Oh, Mr. Wright. Ah! A monster! You were right! Huh? A monster? Is that you? 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 I... 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 Uh, you? I'm trying to think. Adrian? From the last, like, from the last case of the second game? What are you doing here? Good evening. It's good to see you again. You know, after I kind of tortured you on the stand, trying to buy time to save Maya's life. Sorry for that. You. I know you. <laughs> nice to see you again, too, little miss. Ah, uh, hello. Is she a friend of yours, Nick? And how do you know her, Pearly? Nice to meet you. I'm Adrian Andrews. I'm in charge of the pro uh, promotion and planning for the treasure exhibit. I'm also responsible for the security arrangements. Well, I guess it really wasn't your fault that Juan got murdered last last game, so I guess we can trust you if... At least we know you're not going to be gil guilty. That would be a weird, evil twist if a character from a past game who was innocent turned out to be guilty in the, another one. That would be mean. Oh, um, nice to meet you. Adrian sure has changed since we last met. So, this is the warehouse. The really valuable exhibit items are still stored away in here. And the music's just gone. I wonder why. Hmm. I don't know if, like, talking would progress things or if examining would progress things. But let's, let's examine. And again, the music's just gone, and that's worrying. This computer, I feel, it looks like it's hooked up to the security camera above. And that means what? The camera is set up to take a photo of anyone that goes in or out of the room. Oh no, this was the Silver Samurai again. 
And the data from the camera gets uploaded to this computer here. That's what. I see. That's some pretty high-tech stuff. Maya, we already saw this last time. Two years ago, but still. It looks like a part of a big signboard. All I can read on it is burr. Aha! I've got it! Maybe it's supposed to say hamburger! Or is the gur? Why would anyone write hamburger that big? Like, maybe for the World Hamburger Festival or something. I kind of doubt it. Aha! I've got it! Maybe it said spaghetti! Why are you talking about food? Oh, wait. That's normal for you. Anyway, it says burr. There's no way it could be spaghetti. Well, maybe it was a typo. It might have said spaghetti festival. What do you think? Okay to me. Besides, spaghetti is the only thing more tangled than your reasoning. How rude. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. Here we go again. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right. Sorry. Why do I feel like we've had this exact same conversation before somewhere? Because we did. A million times. It's a security camera. It's trained on the warehouse door. It's set up to take a picture of anyone that enters or exits the door. An ounce of pro uh, prevention is worth a pound of cure, they say. And I guess they have, like, yeah, a smaller door so humans can go in and out, and then a bigger door to, like, let everything in. Why is there a barefoot statue with a sword? And I swear I've seen that kind of sword before, with weird hook thingies coming off it. Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? It looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. Really? Let's go in! I want to take a look! Oh, I'm sorry. Unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in there. Did you hear that, Nick? We're unauthorized personnel! Why are you telling me that? And why is she so happy about it? It says Organi. No, it doesn't, Nick. It says Organize. He can't just see the last two letters. Yeah, well, no, guess no one else could read it either because this place is a mess. Yeah, you must feel right at home, huh? Harsh. Can't look at these boxes and paint. Or the other boxes. Mystic Maya, take a look next to the door. That, that's Mystic Ami, right? Yes, that's a statue of the woman who invented the curing channeling te technique, Ami Fay. The statue is on loan from one of the training halls of the Fay branch family. In fact, it just arrived this morning. Ami Fay's golden statue, add it to the court record. What's that creepy looking thing she's holding? Don't ask me, how should I know? Well, you are the future master, right? Maybe so, but this is the first time I've ever seen this statue. That thing is the Kirin Shi Chi Shito. It's a ceremonial sword. It's not a real weapon, so the blade isn't sharp. Aw, fooey. I wanted to cut something. What are you eyeing me for? Yeah, I have seen ceremonial swords similar to that. It really has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Wright? Nick, what's going on? Who is this woman? Why are you freaking out on me? What? I just thought it'd be more dramatic if I got all worked up. That's all. Hello, hello. We are continuing Phoenix Wright time. Mystic Maya, you shouldn't let him off the hook so easily. Please, Maya, don't say anything that'll needle pearls further. Mr. Wright was there for me when I really needed help. You know, after I basically gaslit you and tortured you on the stand and allowed newly invigorated Edgeworth, who is really into the truth, to also absolutely torture you on the stand. But I... It was a very complicated situation. A stitched-up butler man kidnapped Maya last time. It... It was something that happened seven months ago. You remember, don't you? The Nickel Samurai case? Not really. I was stuck in a dark wine cellar. Did that escape your memory, Nick? After that, I quit being a manager and started this job. Wow, that's tough. I'm sorry, Miss Andrews, if it wasn't for us. No, don't say that. I'm glad the whole thing happened. I'm glad that... <laughs> I'm glad that the person who... 
like the two people mostly responsible for my mentor's suicide. One got murdered and the other is either dead or is currently serving his sentence in prison in constant fear of his life that the assassin he betrayed is going to come for him any day now. All the while, other people also suffered, like Maya in the aforementioned wine cellar. And I guess Franziska, too. She got shot in the shoulder. I'm happy all that happened. Thanks to you and everyone else that was involved, I was able to change my whole life. I really am grateful. Oh, that's a relief. I'm really impressed with Miss Andrews. Handling a huge exhibition like this must be a very tiring. Well, Lordly Taylor is celebrating their 200th anniversary this year. So just everything's falling into place. A character from a past case, this place's 200th anniversary, the Curane exhibit is coming here. Everything. <laughs> everything's stacking up, and why is it so silent? Where is the music? The works on display in the main e exhibition hall are worthy of the finest museums. Woohoo! Did you hear that, Pearly? The finest museums. Yes, I did. It's really wonderful. So, this basement warehouse is pretty well protected, huh? Of course it is. After all, there are some priceless treasures here. The security guards are all very, very highly trained as well. That sounds good. So, what is it with that face she's making? Don't tell me. Is Gumshoe gonna come out and be like, Hey, pal! I work as a security guard here! Oh, look, it's already eight. Have you all eaten yet? Um, well, actually... I've already made a reservation at the restaurant on the 12th floor. Why don't we all dine together? Ooh, I like the sound of that. Dine, it sounds so fancy. I'll have the kids lunch. <laughs> Pearly, it's dinner, not lunch. Why don't you go for it and really eat your full, your fill with a kid's dinner? Okay, in that case, one kid's dinner for me. <laughs> Shall we head upstairs then? After that pleasant evening, all that remained was to wait for the exhibition's opening. It was wonderful seeing Miss Andrews looking so happy. None of us could have imagined. That Miss Andrews was a murderer! That the very next day, something terrible would happen. Because that's just the way it is in the life of Phoenix, right? Unless, like, magical things happen where he, like goes to exhibitions where people don't get murdered, but that doesn't seem to be the case. <laughs> Nick! This is terrible! What the? What the? You're cleaning the toilet again? I never knew you were such a toilet freak. Give me a break, would you? My brain just hit the snooze button for the fifth time. Um, I'm going to turn on the TV. We've got the update on the recent treasure heist. Based on the clues found at the scene of the crime, authorities have announced what they believe it was the work of the renowned phantom thief, Mask Star Icon, Damask. So you're telling me this guy actually flew up into the sky like that? I'm honestly, I'm, I'm, I would not be surprised if Maximilian Galactica was arrested again. He's, he knows how to fly, considering the, the state of the legal system in Japanifornia. M mask the mask? According to a spokesperson, Lordly Taylor received a threat letter some days ago. And this is the fifth heist by this phantom thief who only targets rare treasures. L Lordly Taylor? Well, Nick, what are you going to do? Don't you dare go back to scrubbing the toilet. Treasure? Lordly Taylor? You don't think? Yes, now get up, Nick. It was stolen by Mask to Mask. Our most valuable treasure. The Kirin Sacred Urn was stolen. What? Let's see, is there anything? Sacred Urn. Refresh my memory a little. What's a Sacred Urn? It's only the most important treasure in Kirin Village, that's all. Look, it's right there on the poster. With its mixed up lettering. Don't you remember what's inside? The urn contains the very important soul. Namely, the soul of mystic Ami Fei, the founder of the curing channeling technique. Was she putting the urn 
like, soul-wise to stop people from channeling her or something. Right, Pearly? Uh, yeah, that's right. Because she broke it last game. Hold up. I thought the urn had the name Ami written on it. Now it says I am. Hmm. Any idea how that happened, Pearly? Huh? Um, I... Well... <laughs> there's some things best left unsolved, wouldn't you say, Mr. Nick? That's right. One year ago, there was a murder in Curane Village, Maya's hometown. That sacred urn, it turned out to be an important clue in that case. Sacred urn added to the court record. Good thing I decided to ask about it. Let's ask about last year's incident. Uh, it was terrible. I was arrested and everything. That also happened two years ago. One year ago? One year ago, the murder in Curing Village. A man was killed during one of Maya's spirit channelings. And this urn wound up being the key piece of evidence that proved her innocence. Um, Mr. Nick? Would you mind not telling Mystic Maya about that? You promised, remember? You said you wouldn't tell you when I broke the urn. Well, yeah, that's right. Now I remember. This urn used to say Ami on it. And then there it is, the Steel Samurai Bull. The ultimate corpor corporate culprit. Until Pearls accidentally broke it into a million pieces. She tried to secretly fix it. Let's just say it didn't work out so well. And apparently nobody noticed all this year later. Sorry, I'm not so good at arts and crafts. Spelling either. Anyway, this is how her gluing project turned out. She put the pieces back together wrong, and now instead of Ami, it says I am. I can't believe no one's noticed this until now, a whole year later. I can't believe it myself. Well, let's head to the main exhibition hall. Right, let's see if we can find some clues that might lead us to the bad guy. But it doesn't look like anything's been disturbed. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same as it did last night. Hmm, bad guy, huh? Hey, you can't poke around in here. Hey, you can't poke around in here, pal! Wait a minute. That voice. Oh no, not him again! It's you! And I'm the one who should be saying not again! Why is it that every time something bad happens, you always show up, pal? I should be asking you that. Aren't there any other detectives? No, and I should be asking you that. What are you doing hanging around here, pal? Hey, I asked you first. Why are you here any... All right, all right, we got it. Why don't you just kiss and make up already? Um, hello, it's been a long time, Mr. Scruffy Detective. Oh, it's you, little missy. Um, uh... Actually, my name's Gumshoe. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Now's a good chance for you to try and remember it right. And if it's too long for you, you can just call him Dick. Okay, it's good to see you again, Mr. Detective Dick. Uh, yeah, good to see you again too, I guess. Well, what happened? Um, Mr. Detective Dick, can you tell us what happened? Oh, <laughs> you're trying to remember my name, atta girl. It's just Gumshoe, okay? Anyway, the thief stole something called the Sacred Urn. I know about that. Oh, but, well, the criminal's name is Mask to Mask. I know about that, too. Detective, can you tell us something other than that? Well, I guess I sort of kind of owe you guys, in a way. Technically, we owe you, because you went and stole evidence from the police that kind of saved our bacon last time and got into a car accident, of which we only got the evidence because then Von Karma used her tracking device on you to get the evidence and then bring it to us. Hey. The crime occurred last night at around 1.30 in the morning. How exactly do you know that? We got an emergency phone call from a god at the scene of the crime, pal. He said, the urn was just stolen. The scene of the crime? You mean here, right? Wrong. That urn was being kept careful guard. 
being kept under careful guard in the basement warehouse. Basement warehouse, huh? Um, so who's guarding the basement warehouse? That guy! It's all his fault that the thief got away, pal! He swaps one case and gets a swelled head, thinking that he's an ace detective. A ace detective? Who could it be? I don't know. Somebody who quote-unquote sold a case, they're a he, and called themselves an ace detective. I don't know. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, about this Mask to Mask, is he famous? What? You're joking, right, Nick? Mask to Mask is the hottest thing since sliced bread! Sometimes he appears as a museum guard! Sometimes he appears as a big brown bear known to surprise unsuspecting victims! But underneath those disguises is... The true mask to mask. So he's some kind of master of disguise, huh? And he only goes after the finest works of art, pal. Last night was his fifth heist. If Lordly Taylor only had cooperated, I could have caught him this time. What? Then you knew he was planning on stealing the sacred urn? Of course I did. The guy always sends his calling card before he steals something. And he was there when that, like, diamond was apparently stolen last time. Hmm. Calling card, huh? They mentioned that on TV. So, why do you call him an ace detective anyway? That's what he calls himself, pal. I have not make it up. So, what's he like? Well, like I told you, Master Mask has made five heists so far. On the fourth heist, Mr. Ace Detective managed to get the stolen treasure back. Well, that is impressive all by himself. Yeah, I gotta admit it, pal. Maybe he really is good as he says. Every time the thief sends one of his calling cards, we send our men on a stakeout. But none of us have ever gotten so much as a glimpse of the guy. But Mr. Ace Detective was able to retrieve the stolen treasure from the thief. Anyway, he's at the scene of the crime right now, looking for clues. So he's down in the basement warehouse, huh? So what's this calling card? Here it is. But don't show it to anyone. It's top secret, okay, pal? What's this mark on the front? That's Mask to Mask's signature emblem, pal. You could say it's his mark. All of his calling cards have had it on them. They didn't mention it that on the news flash. We're withholding that detail from the public for operational purposes. The only way we can tell if a calling card is real or not is by the emblem. So by keeping all the calling cards under wraps, the only people that would know about the emblem would be people who either were a part of the investigation or Mask to Mask himself. That makes sense. When you get famous, there's always imitators. Mr. Nick, you if you work a little harder, maybe you can have your own copycat someday. Um, uh, thanks, I guess. Well, I guess that's it. Let's head to the basement warehouse, then. Not the broken ceremonial sword! And paint. Weird paint box. No matter how many times we come here, this place always gives me the chills. This is only the second time that we've come here. That's probably because it's air-conditioned. To protect the art pieces, you know. Welcome to my private little bank uh, banquet of chaos. Huh? What the heck does that mean? The fuck? Why do you look so weird? Why do you have a magnifying glass as a monocle? I'm afraid I have very little to offer, but please make yourself at home. Uh, um, who are you anyway? Shush, silence! That's disturbing. <laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. But what do you see? Zaveri! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium. Neither very advanced at their trade. I literally have done very amazing things as a lawyer, thank you very much. Am I wrong? Yikes, that, that's scary. How did you know that? How, you say? The universal skeptic would say that how is nothing but a question of why. I am a traveler of both time and space and a swimmer of dreams. What is he talking about? I can't make heads or tails of it. 
Without further ado, let me fulfill what should be the first duty of any gentleman and introduce myself. The name is at me. Look at me. Look at me. Even I can get that 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 joke of a name. You're a funny little man. Why do you have like claw marks on your hair? Ace detective. Oh, um hi. Don't let him intimidate you, Nick. Stand up and show him what you're made of. Er, uh, um, my name's Wright. Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. I'm Maya Fay. Ace Spirit Medium. And I'm, um, Pearl Fay. I'm Mystic Maya's cousin and, um, Spirit Medium Ace Apprentice. <laughs> Excellent! Well then, shall we begin our little game? Game? Why does the phrase, one short of a baker's dozen, come to mind with this guy? Well, considering that we're going to have to gather up clues and stuff, I feel safe asking him questions first. Um, so are you really as famous as you say? Of course, for a lawyer, you have a rather shocking lack of knowledge about the world. I had no idea anyone was left in this city that had not heard of me. Look at me! Yes, that's your name. We get it. Although that does make him look kind of badass. Although that is a very big moon. I am Mask Damask's archenemy, the Ace Detective, look at me! At this moment, there are two mighty figures which loom large over this grand city. One embodies the nefarious forces of darkness, the other, the angelic cherubs of light. And let me guess, you're the forces of darkness. Boy, I'm really lost. What is he saying, Nick? I have been personally on the heels of this villain since his first crime. After learning this criminal's patterns, I thwarted his very latest loathsome larceny. I have even returned the target of his tyranny, the portrait of Margina, the, to the crime scene. And I did it all by myself. I took it back from mask to mask with my brawny mind and my brilliant muscles. Yeah, they mentioned it on the news in the Great People Around Town segment. They said that the museum gave you an incredible jewel as a reward. Well, compared to the treasure that I retrieved for them, it's not much. My brain immediately jumps to this guy is Mask to Mask, and he's posing as a detective to, like, get legitimate, quote-unquote, like, fame, where he, like, quote-unquote, solves his own crimes and stuff, because that alone is, like, what I retrieved it's not much, really does scream that he's... Then again, he could just be eccentric, but... Hmm. We'll have to look and see what other suspects come along. Then again, it could be a Shelly to killer situation in which they literally just are who they are, and it could just be mask to mask is mask to mask. So, in the end, the only thing that makes you great is your own self-praise. And what's next on Mask to Mask? Oh, tell us what you know about Mask to Mask, and keep it simple, please. Look about how I have devoted my life to thwarting these dastardly deeds. You mean the past five months? That's not your whole life, dude. Last night, here in the bowels of this store, we were locked in a most glorious battle. I see. Huh? Hang on a second. You were here last night? Here. In Lordly Taylor. Naturally, wherever Damask goes, you will find at me laying his elegant traps. Elegant traps? More like Damask out elegance to you and made a beautiful getaway. But this time I allowed him to escape with the illusion of victory. I wonder if I should ask him about what happened last night in more detail. Um, can you tell us exactly what happened here last night? But of course. After all, I always say there should be no secrets between aces. Flattery will get you nowhere, Pinocchio. <laughs> I first received the request for my services 20 days ago. And it was 10 days ago that I, we received Mask to Mask's calling card. Huh? You were hired before the calling card even arrived? Yes. You see, the person who hired me is quite rigorous and thorough. That's Adrian for you. A mere ten days after hiring me, her worst premonitions were realized. A calling card arrived, right? 
Yes, so ace detective that I am, I set a trap for the thief right in the warehouse and waited for him alone. Alone? But why? Why didn't you go to the police for help? Ridiculous! Why would I seek help from such a singularly useless group of nincompoops? You've got a lot of nerve. After all, it was you that let Damask get away. I always operate alone and concealed out of sight of others. Really building up to him being Damask personally, but again, we need to wait and see who else it is. Then again, would be kind of hard for him to wear the mask when he has that nose. Corn sealed? Precisely! Even the guards on duty here were unaware of my presence. To fool your enemies, first you must fool your friends. It's my own original proverb. Anyway, back to what happened last night. As I was saying, I hid here in the warehouse and waited for the thief to arrive. But I swear to you, not a solitary soul came through that entrance. Nevertheless, the sacred urn disappeared. And yet there was a box with paint on it, and there's paint over there. The thing was moved, the statue was moved, and the sword is broken. Hmm. But, but that's impossible! How could it just disappear? How, you ask? Don't be ridiculous, sir lawyer! If I knew the answer to that question, I wouldn't be here! For some who, someone who's seriously messed up his own stakeout, he's rather full of himself. So you're saying that even though... Even though on one... Oh no. Oh no, we found a typo! On one! Even though on one! It's meant to be no one. At least it's a... It's kind of a simple, like, typo, but at the same time, no playtesters found this, and they never fixed that. Like, maybe it's not worth the... Then again, the, the game was updated literally tonight before I began streaming. It says, hey, if you want to play this game, you need to update. And it was a very quick update, so obviously they're doing minor updates to this game. So, like, if this were on console, I would expect it to maybe not be patched because consoles are like, oh, you have to go through our review process and pay us money to actually patch things. <laughs> but this is Steam, and I don't know if they do that. I don't think they do. Hmm. So you're saying that even though no one came through the doors last night, our precious urn still somehow vanished from under your nose? That's just not possible! Remember to stay hydrated while you're being lectured by a pun man. Well... Calling card. Master Mask's calling card. It's got his emblem printed on it, right? <laughs> Quite impressive! But I would expect nothing less from my arch-rival. I'm surprised to see you in possession of such a top-secret piece of information. Well, we've got an ace lawyer and an ace spirit medium on our... And an ace cousin apprentice here. Yes, indeed. I think I could learn to like you, my fellow ace professionals. I don't know if I really want this guy to like us. Ever. Well, sir lawyer. I've been told that you two are pursuing the mysterious thief. Well, I'm not sure I would say... That's right! We're going to find the sacred urn no matter what we have to do. Excellent. I will trust you. I permit you to take a look around while I investigate elsewhere. If perchance you should discover something of value, return them to my office. My Office of Earthly Delights, the Atomy Detective Agency! Uh, office of Earthly Delights? Well then, Sir Lawyer, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. Wait a minute. He's gone. I don't like the idea of doing this guy's work for him. Come on, Nick. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Let's hurry up and investigate before he changes his mind. I'm going to go to his office, too. Take me with you, okay? Well, first things first... There's a box with purple paint on it. And if we come over here, purple paint as well. Hmm. 
The Sacred Urn. That pathetic looking wooden box. Ah! That's the box that had the Sacred Urn in it! Don't touch it! There may be clues to the thief's identity on there! Uh, I worked so hard to make that box. Huh? You made that poor excuse for a box, Maya? What's that supposed to mean? That urn has always been in the, on its stand in the winding way of the Fame Manor. So there was no box suitable for it, Mr. Nick. And I I was so proud of it. Poor Maya. Maybe it would have been better to ask if to, better if Master Mask had taken the box too. Harsh. Wow, this is awesome! What did Miss Andrews say it was called again? Chi Chi Shito. It's literally seven branched sword in Japanese, or so says Miss Andrews. Whoa, it's pretty heavy. One hit seven times the fun. Pretty catchy, huh? I bet it's all like hotcakes. Um, there's something about it that bothers me. Wow, you're really firing all cylinders today, Pearly. The sword. Wasn't Miss Takami holding it last night? Ah. And another thing. The sword wasn't bent last night like it was now. Like it is now. Brain read that wrong because I am a fool. You're right. Awesome, Burly. I wouldn't expect any less from my little ace apprentice. That sword is bent. So that must mean last night someone used it somehow. Aha. I just thought of something. Maybe Detective Apme smashed Master Mask with it. Like this! Ouch! What the heck? What do you think, Pearly? I think it's even more bent than it was before. Oh man, my head! My hair! Shichi Shito added to the court record. Let's see. The statue of Misagami is so cool! I want a big gold statue of myself. We could put it in the office. Hey! It's right, in Co. How about a gold statue of me? Um, Mr. Nick, I'm sorry, but I noticed something strange. Huh? What is it, Pearls? The statue of Misagami. Was it where it was last night? Ah. Nope. I'm pretty sure it was closer to the door. Yeah, I think you're right. Great job, Pearly. I wouldn't expect anything less from my ace cousin. So the statue was moved on the night of the crime. Updated. And then there's paint here for some reason. Which seems to imply that the urn box was over here. Or... Hmm. The paint on it is weird. So I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, let's activate. I wonder what's with, like, the panels on the ground. Ah, so paint splashed over the box while it was sitting there for some reason. Look what you did, Nick. You spilled paint over here. I didn't do that! Well, it wasn't here last night. I would have noticed a color this outrageous. But this paint is already dried up. Well then, you should have cleaned it up before it dried, Nick. Paint doesn't dry that fast! Besides, I told you it wasn't me! Looks like it's been several days since it was spilt. But we were here last night, weren't we? Hey, look at this. What is it? There's some kind of shape left in the bottom left side of the stain. Huh? You're right. I wonder what it could be. Making sure. Be interesting. So this paint splotch is over like a few days old. And the urn box was there when it was spilled. And somebody moved the... Uh, I guess somebody covered the, the stain up with the statue of Ami. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be... Well, let's, yeah, let's look at the door. Let's look at the door. Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? Looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of... Yeah, we already saw that. I guess that's where they were keeping the sacred urn. Remember, Maya, Miss Andrews said we're not allowed in there. 
Hmm. And the investigation music's pretty neat. Hmm. Do you want to look at this statue? Um, what about this? Sorry, pal. I didn't get much sleep last night, and my brain's not really working right. So no, I don't think sleep would really fix the problem. Hey, keep it down. You might have really good hearing for all you know. You might get mad if you heard. Um, I can hear everything you're saying, pal. <laughs> I don't think we have anything to really do there, so... Opt me detective agency. Why does he have a portrait of himself? And just a... And why does he have notes applied to the wall with knives? I feel like that is horribly inefficient. This is a detective agency. This more like the set. Some, this looks more like the set of some B-grade horror movie. Uh, hello, is anyone here? It looks like nobody's home. Hmm, what a waste of time. Hey, I know. Let's take the framed picture back with us as a memento. Don't you dare, Maya. Guess I'll have to try and back later. Well, let's look around first. What a creepy painting. It looks like he's looking right at me. Maybe we should put on a big portrait of you in the office, Nick. I can even paint it for you. Maybe you can pose while cleaning the toilet. I think I'd prefer something a bit more dignified. Hey, Nick, what's this thing here? It's called a gramophone. In the old days, people used them to listen to music. You can't be serious. I think it's probably for purifying the air for something. I'll bet you 50 cents. Come on, what do you say? Forget it. You never pay up when you lose. That's amusing. Whoa, it's a huge hearth! That's a fireplace. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Alright, is that, is that gonna be the next recurring thing? Hearths versus fireplaces? That's one impressive bookshelf filled with some very impressive books. My life is an ace detective. On a bridged edition by Look At Me Ace Detective. Hey, he's even got one of these ships in a bottle things. Ah, would you look at that? There's a little Luke at me doll at the helm. How cute. There's a microscope here, too. I wonder if he was researching something. The glass slides have different names on them. This one says, at me virus. Hmm. This guy's just dying to make a name for himself, huh? It's getting kind of irritating, actually. He just named everything after himself. Well, let's take a look here. This desk is literally covered with all sorts of chemistry equipment. Oh, I just love chemistry! Say, Nick, I bet you didn't know this, but... Water is made up of carbon and hydrogen! No, no, no. Not carbon. Oxygen. Oxygen and hydrogen! Oh? Well, there are always alternative theories, I guess. If by alternative theories you mean the ones you make up inside the head of yours... <laughs> Why is it Phoenix so mean today? Then again, he's had to deal with her for a few years now. Hmm, maybe I need to present things to you after all. To be honest, pal, there's something that bugs me. What's that? All the other items that were stolen by Mask the Mask were ones even I had heard of. They were all world-famous treasures. The Tear of Eminem, or the Crown of Bongora. The Sacred Urn of Kurain is famous too, right, Pearly? Of course, everyone in Kurain Village knows about it. Sounds like we've got an unpredictable thief on our hands. So why would he come after that? Remember, don't tell anyone about that emblem, okay, pal? Does the thief ever send these to the police? No, always to the victims. Up until now, the victims have always come to look- come to us looking for help, though. That's not what happened this time, you mean? You got that right, pal. Listen up! If you guys ever get one of these calling cards, I want you to come to us right away. Got me? Yeah, sure. Hmm. So I have a few thoughts on things. Huh. 
So Luke was hired by Andrews 20 days before the crime. 10 days before the crime, the, the Lord Taylor got the, like, threat in the form of the calling card. In that time, presumably, Paint was... Hmm. Because, again, it seems like the game is saying that the paint spill happened days ago. And today is the day after the crime, and that crime happened on the same night that we came here just to check things out. So... And Mask Damask only stole the Curain urn despite the fact that he only steals world-famous items. The Curain urn was sitting there when it got covered in paint days ago. And the paint spill was covered by the statue. So, did somebody hire Mask to Mask to steal the urn for some reason? That's a security camera. It's trained on the big door to the storeroom. It's set up to take a photo of anyone that goes in or out. A security camera? Yeah, go stand in front of the door and it'll snap your photo too, Pearly. Um, Mystic Maya, do you think I should smile? Nah, it's for criminals, so I think you should make a really scary face. Like this, okay? Hey, Pearly, did you know- do you know what this is? It's a computer! A computer? Oh, I've heard of these. It's such a cute name. It looks like this computer is for storing the data from the security camera. When someone comes in or out of the warehouse, the camera takes a photo of them. It's probably the trap that the detective set up. Let's see if we can find last night's data on this thing. We might even find a photo of Mask to Mask. Let's see here. Man, I really stink at working these things. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? You're sweating an awful lot. I don't know how to pull up the photos. I had no idea you're such a pathetic with high-tech stuff, Nick. Yeah, well, I managed to print out the camera data anyway. I guess you have to learn to crawl before you can walk, right, Nick? Yeah, sure. Anyway, it looks like the camera only went off once last night. Hmm. At 1 a.m. But the crime happened at 1.30 when a security guard called and said that it was missing, right? Hmm. And I think that's all the information. Hmm. All right, so series of events. Days ago, the Sacred Urn was here. It got sloshed by paint for some reason. At least it seems to have. And then somebody moved the Ami statue to cover the paint stain. Last night, the urn was stolen out of the box with the pain, well, paint. And the sword, the ceremonial sword, like, was used to prop open the box? Or something. Hmm. Who has my phone number? Hey, Nick, your cell phone's ringing. Hello, Phoenix right here. <laughs> it's me, Gumshoe. Gumshoe, what is it? What's so funny? I'll tell you what's funny. I finally beat him. I beat Mr. Ace Detective. Finally. This underdog is the alpha dog today that stuck up detectives met his match. Yep. I finally caught him. Lock, stock, and barrel. There's no escape for him. You caught him? Are you saying? You captured Mask to Mask? Bingo! Well, uh, actually, he surrendered. But I still got him. Mask to Mask surrendered? That's great! So when can we come and pick up the sacred urn? Um, uh, well, you see, 
I was gonna tell you. What? Something wrong? Do you think it could swing by the detention center sometime? The detention center? He wants to talk to you. Mask to mask, that is. What? He wants to talk to Nick? I'll be waiting for you, pal, so get over here soon. The detention center, huh? Are we going- Are we going to be defending Mask to Mask? Because that would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be hilarious if we defended him. Hey, pal! Welcome to the detention center! You're sure in a happy mood, aren't you? Yep, after all, we got Master Ma- Right, but, um, so where's the sacred urn? Oh, uh, sorry about that, pal. I guess I didn't really think about it before. But you're the victim in this case. Huh? Well, I guess I should let you guys hear the story straight from the horse's mouth. You know he's right, Nick. He is? If you think about it real hard, we are the victims! Well, I guess so, in a way. Um... I'm so used to thinking the victim is a dead person because we're always on murder cases. E excuse me. But anyway, I have to get the sacred urn back. Please! Don't just ignore me! Uh... Um... Who are you? I, uh, um, I, I'm m m mask to mask, okay? Hey, Nick, doesn't he look kind of, well, gangly? I'm Ron Delight. Well, Delight obviously was like Delight, but Ron Delight? I don't know. I'm, the, the pun is probably going over my head. The, the famous mask to mask. I don't think this guy could punch his way out of a wet paper bag. Well... So... You're the mask to mask guy? Yes, you bet! No, uh, that's wrong. You see, it's complicated. Sort of yes and sort of no. If you know what I mean. <laughs> the text went opaque there! Hmm? What's wrong? Well, when I say wrong, what I really mean to say is that it's not right, per se. You see, it's not spelled mask de mask. It's actually mask de mask. <laughs> How do you even tell? What's with this guy? Well, he's a timid little weakling. We know that much. D don't do that. Don't look at me like that. I don't need your pity. And a major crybaby too. So, why did you give yourself up? Well, you see, it's because well. I know why, it's because you stole such a priceless treasure, and now you're overwhelmed with guilt, am I right? Priceless treasure? That broken old urn? Um, I have a little favor to ask. Yes, what is it? Could you go and talk to Desi? d Desi? Look, we really want our urn back, so where is it? I'm sorry, I'll give it back, I really will. Uh, maybe not? Uh, no, I can't. I can't make promises I can't keep. I'll just end up hurting people. Um, Mr. Nick? I couldn't hear what he just said, especially that last part. Um, Mr. Damask? Do you think you could speak up a little? Y y yes sir, I will, I promise. Uh, maybe not. You see, I'm already speaking in my normal voice, so I really can't do anything. Mr. Damask? about the urn. Oh, yes, the urn! Right away! Uh, actually, no. I wouldn't mind telling you, but actually I'm afraid you wouldn't believe me anyway. Enough already! Just tell us to a straight! Please! Please don't yell at me! <sighs> I, I, I'm sorry. That urn, I, I lost it! What? What did you just say? Did you just say lost it? Yes, uh, no, uh, maybe so. I mean, yes, I lost it. What do you mean? Well, you know, I lost it. Like I said, these things just happen. You're on the train and you get distracted and you forget your bag, you know. What? You forgot our sacred urn on a train? Wait a minute. You weren't on a train dressed like that? 
No, I, I, I was just speaking hypothetically, that's all. A anyway, I'm sorry! I just lost it somewhere! I don't know where! This guy's story is more surreal than a dolly painting. This is a very odd situation here. <laughs> Are you really sure this creep is Mask to Mask? Maya, don't call him a creep. Although I do have to admit I understand your doubts about this guy. So, who is this Desi person? Please don't talk about my wife like that! I, I guess she must be his wife. <sighs> I'm sorry, the truth is, it was my wife that told me to have you all come here. Um, do you think you could go and visit her at my hideout? H hideout? Mr. Nick, what does he mean by hideout? Oh, sorry. Naturally, I meant to say in my secret base. S secret base? Well, my apartment, actually. Palazzo Ple Pel Pepe, third floor. Let's go have a look, Nick, to Mask Damask's hideout. Something tells me she just likes the sound of the word hideout. You are an odd little man. Oh, that's Mask Damask's calling card. Pretty nice looking, huh? It looks so happy. I'm not very good at writing, you see. So I bought a book called How to Write Business Letters and Studied Hard. Well, I guess you could call thievery a type of business. I'm really sorry I caused so much trouble. If you're so sorry, then you shouldn't have stolen it in the first place. But, but the only thing I did wrong was lose it! Uh, that's not right. I was wrong either way. I'm sure the owners of the other treasures feel the same. He sure seems sorry. Who would have imagined that such a famous thief would have such a pure heart? You are a wacky little man. What do you think of this? Mm, I don't really think I can help you with that. Uh, no, that's not it. Well, the thing is, I don't really know if I can say one way or the other. I don't really catch that. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. This is an odd little character. But all right, I, let's go to a secret hideout, I guess. Obviously, those have to be fake guns, right? And helium? Is that a missile? What? Dynamite? Wow. Check this place out. No doubt about it. This is Masks to Masks hideout, all right. Who is it? Is that you, Ronnie? Huh? Who are you people? Um, are you Desi Delight? That's right, I'm Desiree. Ah, oh, he must be the lawyer. And the victim. Yeah, that's us. Your husband told us to stop by and speak with you. I'm Maya Fay, and this is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nicky boy and Maya, huh? I can't tell you how grateful I am that you decided to help my Ronnie. Well, um, <laughs> you're welcome. Did you really call me Nicky boy? It's playing a classic, like, uh, I forget, was this, this was in the first game, this theme. This isn't a remix. This is a reuse. Huh. I wonder if by the third game they decided to mix and match some of the soundtracks, or maybe there was maybe an issue with the third game's production and they needed to reuse some music? I don't know. Because there's obviously new music in here, too. Huh. Um, about your husband. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? A bit weak sometimes, though. A bit. By the way, did you know they mentioned Maya on TV? Huh, really? They said you only earn and that you're doing some shady training at a law office now. Remind me not to watch that channel's news program. <laughs> After I saw that, I thought it might be a good idea to meet the lawyer that they mentioned. I see. My Ronnie, he has a powerful imagination and gets deluded easily. He kept insisting he was going to surrender to the police. I didn't know what to do. It was me, I stole that urn, he kept saying, as if it was even possible. Are you telling me that Ronnie is a super fanboy of Damask and not actually Damask? That would be hilarious. 
That would be hilarious if true. But, but are you saying he didn't? <laughs> of course he didn't. Why would my Ronnie ever do something like that? B well, you know, it's a priceless treasure and he's, you know. Is it possible his own wife doesn't know his secret identity? Me? I'm the kind of woman that needs excitement in her life. Could it be that she... Mm, is she... Mask to mask? And Ron is like taking the quote-unquote fall for her? This is weird. This is weird. Excitement, huh? Yes, I'm at my happiest when I'm racing along with my bike going at full throttle. Riding a motorcycle is like putting your life on the line. You know what I mean? Well, I think that depends on how much how you ride it. I'm the type that can't stand living a boring, dreary old life of no action. No offense, but your husband, Ron, doesn't exactly look like the risk-taking type himself. If you're right about that, he's definitely not one for the thrills and danger. But I do have to say that he makes up for, for in other ways. Other ways? Yes, money. Ronnie's incredibly rich and super generous. He bought me a bike that's so fast it would make your hair head spin. And shopping? I like to shop so much it makes Ron's head spin. The other day it actually happened. His head actually started to spin. Man, talk about a high-maintenance wife. So where does Mr. Delight get all his money from? Ronnie is a security guard. They put their lives on the line, right? So they get paid tons of money in return. Tons of it. He's a security guard? I think it's my turn for my head to spin. Can you tell us about what happened last night? Hmm, what time did the incident take place again? What time was it again, Maya? Well, according to Detective Gumshoe, it was around 1.30 in the morning. Ah, last night was horrible. I got pulled over. P pulled over? Yeah, I was doing my best flying at night. Flying? Uh, you're talking about your motorcycle, right? Yes. Anyway, last night I got pulled over by a policeman. I can't believe he caught up to me. This is a great chase, let me tell you. When he finally caught me, the poor man was white as a sheet. It was about 3 in the morning when I finally got to go home. Sound like she's got an airtight alibi. Well, what about, what about Mr. Delight? I don't really know. We weren't together at the time of the night. When I got home, he was already fast asleep. So basically, he's got no alibi. This is weird. Hey, Nick, look on top of the chair. Looks like an envelope and a letter. Well, don't just stand there. Come on, let's read it. Maya, you know we shouldn't do that. What are you talking about? That letter could be an important clue. No way. You can't just go on a, reading a private letter because you feel like it. Hmm, it's just because I feel like it. It could, really could be important. If I was sure it was a clue, I guess we wouldn't mind. There's a whole bunch of stuff piled up over there. Duck and cover! It's a missile! Do you know those are dynamite and missiles? But they're not heavy enough to be real. Oh wait, they're just really well-made toys. What are these rolls of paper stuck in the trash can? Theft of the Mazarine Stone, the Great Albatross Strategy? Theft of the Immortal Goddess Statue, the Great Knuckle Bomber Strategy? Did the police even investigate this place? Oh, that's so cute. It's called a hot air balloon, you know? Wow, there's no fool in you. I want to make my own balloon now. I'll even let you ride in it, Nick. That emblem on the uh, balloon is supposed to be top secret. That's proof enough that Ron Delight really is mask to mask. I better not tell Maya. She gets kind of scary when it comes to celebrities. It's a bunch of cheap costume pieces arranged inside a nice frame. But look, Nick, it's a fake beard. There's also a mask made out of cardboard. Here, Nick, try on this fake beard. Come on, try it on. Hey, cut it out. Now put on the mask. <laughs> it's Phoenix Damask. Let's borrow it for a while. No way, I'm not stealing from a thief. I have enough bad karma as it is. Hmm, this thing looks like vaguely familiar. Oh, I know, it's a fishbowl. Well, an upside down one anyway. I think it's a helmet. An alien helmet. And that looks like a tape recorder or something next to it. I think it's a transceiver. An alien transceiver. Nick! Do you think maybe you could act a little like a grown-up for a little bit? Getting lectured by Maya to be more of an adult. That's a new low. 
Nick. It's a torpedo. It's hard to believe, but it sure does look real. How could he have picked up something like this? Please don't say that torpedoes are things people just leave lying around. It's mask to mask. There's a tape recorder hanging from his neck. Let me see it. <laughs> I'll be taking that now. I skipped over it because I'm a fool. I don't get it. What's this supposed to be, Nick? Let's read it again. Because I skipped over it. <laughs> I'll be taking this crown now. Better luck next time, gentlemen. <laughs> this entire place is weird. There are a bunch of books lying here. They're all romantic-sounding novels about famous heists and fantastic thieves. Wow, look at all the books and notes stuck into them. Let's see here. Note, must remember this thief's way of laughing. Very useful. Note, a calling card is an important part of any good thief's modus operandi. Wow, Ron really studied his stuff. This is so weird. Uh... Know anything about him? Ooh, that's so mysterious looking. I love old stuff like this. Really? That's one of our most treasured possessions. There's going to be a whole exhibit at Lordly Taylor with these types of things. I look so happy. She's lit up like a 1,000 watt bulb. Terrific. You can count on Ronnie and me to be there. Sounds like fun. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Looks like the light bulb is starting to flicker. Um, so what do you know about this? No, you can't show her that, Nick. That emblem is top secret, don't you remember? Don't. Oh, oops, sorry about that. But the way she just said top secret was worse giveaway than what I did. Oh, when I hear the word top secret, it just piques my interest like nothing else. I guess it does make sense. Literally everything here is like a priceless thing, except... Let's see. Do you know Mask to Mask? You must know, right? About your husband and Mask to Mask. Mask to Mask? Of course I know all about it. My husband is, is his biggest fan. Yep, what? Huh? B biggest fan? Yes, and Ronnie can be pretty delusional sometimes. That's how his whole misunderstanding happened. But wait a minute. Did you just say delusional? Yeah, that's right. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. You see, Ronnie actually believes that he is Mask to Mask. What? What are you talking about? So he's a madman. So when did Ron first become Mask to Mask? What are you talking about? He's not Mask to Mask. Huh? But wait a second. Look around this room. This place is obviously Mask to Mask's hideout. No, no, you're totally wrong. A real thief's hideout wouldn't look like this. It's because Ronnie is so timid himself that he looks up to heroic figures. Heroic figures? But Mask to Mask is a bad guy. So he's deluded, huh? Could that really be true? Anyway, if he really had stolen the urn, wouldn't he still have it? Well, I suppose so. Then why don't you ask him if he has the urn or not? She has a point. Mr. Delight isn't exactly the criminal type. But something about Ron's behavior bothers me. Maybe it's true. Maybe Mr. Delight isn't Mask to Mask after all. Say, can I ask you something, Nicky boy? What is it? I know I may, I may seem like a bad girl on the outside, but the one thing I won't stand for is illegal activity. I had the feeling you wouldn't. You're tough, but I can tell you've got a good heart. Somebody framed my poor Ronnie. I just know it. Um, could you give this to Ronnie for me? A letter? Yes, for Ronnie. I want him to fight back. Miss Delight. Okay, you've got it. Just relax and leave it all to us. Apparently contains something important. Oh no. She's sending anthrax to the poor Ron boy. Well, that's right. Here, this is from your wife. Oh, from Desi? Thank you. Letter given to Mask to Mask. Actually, more like Taken. My dear Ronnie, how are you? I'm doing fine. He's clutching onto that letter so hard, the ink is going to be squeezed out. He looks so happy. You shouldn't write a letter. You should write a letter to Miss Stigmaya too, Mr. Nick. 
Um, Mr. Lawyer? Yes? In the letter that Desi wrote, she said, Ask this guy to be your lawyer. Huh? Uh, um, I know this would be asking a lot, but could you please take my case? My trial starts tomorrow. Hey, hang on a second. You got, we, he can't be your lawyer. Why not? What do you mean, why not? We're the victims in this case, right? Victims of this Damask guy. Well, yeah, but according to Desiree, he didn't do it. She said, poor man, he's deluded himself into thinking he did it, right, Mr. Nick? Come on, she could be lying to protect her husband. Well, that's true. Uh, well, actually not. Actually, it's hard to say. Oh no, it's spreading! Oh, please! I'll give you the treasure of your choice in return! Hmm, what should I do? Because uh, here's the thing, Nick. No psych locks popped up. Also, apparently they're supposed to be psyche locks, but psych locks just seem nicer. Well, Mr. Delight, I've decided to give it a try. I'll defend you. Really? You will? Hey, what are you doing, Nick? He he's a thief. You can't trust him. Well, he may be a thief, but I think there's more to this case than meets the eye. But Mr. Nick, I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have trusted you. Pearls? I can't believe you defend this person after what he did to Mystic Maya. I, I... I'll never forgive you, ever! Jeez. But Pearly, wait! This is going to get ugly. I'll go after her. Jeez. Um, sorry about that. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Well, you couldn't have known she'd react like that. Guess I might as well start investigating. Oh, Maya. Where's Pearls? She said she's going back to the office. Go check in her on her later, would you? And what about you? Are you okay with me taking Mr. Delight's case? Yeah, I'm fine, Nick. I believe in you. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, I, uh... I know you have a lot of work to do. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, Nick, let's get the show on the road. And I think that was a new song that played as well. And he's not here, so I guess we have to. But let's at least check up on Pearly then. Ah, uh, Mr. Nick. Welcome back. Well, um, hey, Pearls. You're back too, I see. I, um, I went and bought us a strawberry cake. I'll go make some tea to go with it. Hey, uh, Pearls. Looks like she feels really bad about what happened at the detention center. <laughs> we just, we get a flashback to what immediately happened. That's amusing to me. Mystic Maya, the tea is ready. Oh, Thanks. Come on, Mr. Nick, please have some of this cake. What is she gonna do, poison us? Yeah, thanks. Um, pearls? Oh, excuse me, I was in the middle of cleaning the toilet. <laughs> hey, it's okay, I just cleaned it this morning. Too late. This might be a good time for me to ask about her. I first met Pearls a year ago was when that murder happened at Curane Village. I still remember what she said to me when I fir when we first met. You, you're Mr. Nick, right? You're, you're Mystic Maya's special someone? Hey, Maya, I've always thought it was because she was young, but... But what? Pearls. I think she's got the wrong idea about you and me. Huh? Or I... Um, there's something you need to understand. What is it? Um, it's kind of like a Curane Village custom, sort of. Pearl seems to love you a lot. Well, it's because I'm her only cousin and, well, because of the murder case last year, Pearlie's mother is. Oh, yeah. In jail. I remember now. Pearl's mother, Morgan Fay. She's serving a prison term in isolation. In isolation? Why? <laughs> Is it because they don't have... I, that's just kind of weird. 
in isolation. So you see, I'm the only family Pearl has right now. But it's the same for me too. Maya, my mother's gone too. Well, there are hardly any men in Curane Village. Yeah, because none of them get the superpowers, so they leave. Now that you mention, I never actually saw any men there when I visited. I'm pretty sure I told you about it a long time ago. About how spiritual powers run from str very strong in the Fae family. Yeah, you did. And that's why you're undergoing training to be a spirit medium, right? Yeah, the thing is, only women can actually inherit the spiritual power. That's why the whole culture of curing village kind of revolves around its women. Well, that's understandable. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but because of that, there tends to be a lot of unsuccessful marriages. Oh? Well, men start to feel left out after a while, and they just start leaving. Especially if that man has a daughter. Are you saying that Pearl's father? He's gone. He left the village when she was very young. Boy, that's tough. Yeah, and she grew up seeing nothing but unhappy marriages all around her. That's why she's so sensitive to things like that. And what about your mother? So your mother's still missing? Yeah, no one has any idea where she is. After the DL6 incident. Maya's mother, Misty Fay, The current master of the curing channeling technique. She disappeared 17 years ago after getting involved in a certain police case. But you're sure she's still alive, right? Yeah, I know she is. It's sort of a spirit medium thing. You could just try channeling her spirit, and if she doesn't show up, you know she's alive. And if your mother doesn't come back, then what? Then according to the laws of the village, I'll become the next master. Mystic Maya, the master of the curing technique. Sounds like a heavy responsibility. Yeah, but there's no one else with the blood of the fame main family who's a spirit medium. Well, Nick, why don't we go out and start investigating? We're not going to learn anything just sitting around the office. Yeah, I know. But... First, I want to talk to Pearls. Um, Mr. Nick? Yeah? I... I acted like a baby. Pearls. I doubted you, even though Mystic Maya completely trusted you. I guess I still have a lot of training to do. Mr. Nick? Yes? I... From the bottom of my heart, I apologize for what I said. Ah, it's okay. I'm the one that should apologize. Well, I'm going out for a little bit. Huh? W where are you going? I may be small, but I still have a lot of spirit channeling power. So I'm going to show you I can be useful too, by finding some evidence. Hey, w wait a... Ugh, she sure runs fast. She did run all the way from Curing Village to the courthouse in the last game, and that's a two-hour train ride. Nick, let's back off and give her some room, okay? She's like nine years old now, right? In fact, how oh, Let's see. 26, dead, 19, and 9. So yeah. So it's just like, still kind of young. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Are you here? Look at me. Luke is not there. Well, I guess let's go to the main exhibit hall. M Maya! Oh, Miss Andrews! I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Your precious urn. Your precious urn! <laughs> they actually made a new sprite for Andrews. That's neat. Please, calm down. What's wrong? It never ends. Everything I touch ends in failure. My, I'm sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. N no, it's okay to... I know I don't look it, but I'm good with my hands. I can make you another urn. Hold on. Just wait, okay? Breathe. Calm down and talk to us. Forgive me. Forgive me. Poor lady. Especially after what happened seven months from ago. She probably feels terrible. Mask's calling card. Um, so when did you get the calling card from Mask Damask? Let's see, exactly ten days ago. I was gonna show it to the police, but that detective stopped me. Um, so you asked Detective At me to help with security? Yes, in fact, it was about twenty days ago that I hired him. He seemed to know much more about Mask Damask than the police. So you hired him for the security even before the calling card arrived. 
Well, yes, I had a premonition that something bad might happen. I've learned to trust my hunches. So that's why there are security cameras even in the basement warehouse? Yes, Lordly Taylor is very serious about the security measures. Was there a way of saying, bring it on, to any potential thieves? Well, he sure brought it last night and even left with a nice souvenir. Um, can you tell us a bit about the security for the treasure exhibit? It was all my fault! I never should have called this paltry little collection a treasure exhibit anyway! Why do you say that? The urn wa that was stolen is a pretty important object. Maybe, but its actual value after appraisal was... Well, practically zero. Zero? I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it more valuable. But, but that urn contains the soul of Mystagami. Anyway, I left all the security arrangements to Detective at me. But five days ago, I began receiving all sorts of other exhibit items from Curain. Lots of people started going in and out of the warehouse down there. So maybe one of them was actually masked to mask in disguise. No, I personally checked every one, checked out everyone that came through here, so that's not possible. Knowing Adrian, she probably even checked out what they ate for breakfast that morning. I know, I know, it's all my fault, but what's done is done. I'll make it up to you, <laughs> make a new urn for you. Ah, oh, she's too far gone. But, uh, do you know Ron Delight? Nope, she does not. Hmm. Well, I guess maybe the calling card? Nope, she's completely lost. Maybe ask about the urn? Completely lost. Well, I guess let's move down to the basement. There doesn't seem to be anything new. When we were here, Miss Andrews last night, the statue wasn't here where it is now. Yeah, it was right next to the door, wasn't it? Well, if someone moved it, it was probably the criminal. Maybe he didn't like being watched by Mr. Gami while he stole the urn. Hey, cut it out! You're giving me the creeps with that kind of talk! It looks like, looks to me, it's been dry for several days. There's something suspicious about this paint mark. The bottom left part of it is shaped oddly and it's shockingly pink. I don't see how the color of the paint is in any way important. It's that it's obvious. The pathetic looking wooden box. Ah! Let's see, yeah, we already don't don't touch it. There may be clues. Made that poor thing. What's that supposed to mean? So proud of it. I'm really starting to like this thing. It's so cool looking. I like to strap it to my waist and walk around look down like a samurai. Careful, Gumshoe will lock you up and throw away the key if you're caught. According to the computer data, someone did in fact go through those big doors last night, right? Yeah, I guess so. The shutter did go off once, you know. One of the detectives brought this camera with him. Good question. Let's take a look at it. Huh? It says P property of Lord Lee Taylor on it. So it's borrowed? Kind of strange for an ace detective, don't you think? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything else down here unless we look at the door. Let's look at the door. Our precious urn was right there on the other side of these doors. Yeah, and according to the security camera data, someone was in there last night. Uh, what I'd like to do to him. There uh, doesn't seem to be anything else down here. Maybe uh, that will then activate at me? It activates at me. Hello? Well, well, how lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Welcome to my abode! Relax and soak up the atmosphere. Um, we're actually kind of... Shush! Silence! It's still such a weird frame. <laughs> Precisely as I expected. What is? It's very... The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium. Am I correct? Um, I think we've already been through this. Ha! Ah, so my estimation was correct. Zavari! How truly elegant. Alvin, can I do for you? Uh, <laughs> I immediately leave. You mentioned before that you were on guard duty all alone last night. Precisely! This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. 
I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I heard you've been after Masked Damask since his very first theft. Yes, my dear, I see you've done your homework. In his very first heist, that vile thief pilfered the famous jewel, the Tear of Imidon. There I first encountered him in the museum's sacred hall, the crime scene itself. So that's why you were hired as security for the treasure exhibit? I'm pretty sure he said that Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes, I borrowed some equipment from Lordly Taylor and set up the perfect trap. It must mean the security camera. But I thought you were watching the area yourself, too. So how did Mask Damask manage to steal the urn? That's the million dollar question. What is Mask Damask's modus operandi? Uh, Mr. Atme, did you know about the sacred urn? I'm interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is Mask Damask. Sacred urn? Pfft, that has nothing to do with the case. But wasn't that what Mask Damask stole this time? I am a hunter, sir. There was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw to pigeons? I don't think I like this guy's attitude, Nick. Well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn. Um, there is something that's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you like. After all, we are all but seekers wandering alone in the dark. Well, I was wondering how Mask to Mask managed to steal the urn. I mean, isn't it strange that you didn't seem to know? Yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. After all, you were on guard duty that night on the, at the scene of the crime. Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Mask to Mask. Is he going to break down now? Oh. Oh, no. He is a bitch. What, what the? It's a Cycloc. Cycloc? Hey, Nick, what's this Cycloc thing? Well, your Magatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what those secrets are. What? This Magatama has that kind of power? Maya, you're the one who gave me this Magatama last year. Well, it's true this Magatama is a prized fa family heirloom, but... Pearly was the one that actually imbued it with spiritual powers, right? That's why I don't really know much about it, uh, what it can do. This is the woman that's going to take over the Curane Channeling School someday. So how do you do it? How do you break the Cyclock? Well, you present the Magatama to the person with the secret. Cool, I can't wait to see it in action. Come on, try it out. Oh boy, I think the future master still needs to learn how to be patient. I still want to know who... At this rate, I'm beginning to think that maybe this guy is just pathetic. Maybe... I'm just trying to think. Because I don't think he's truly mask to mask. Again, the nose. In fact, before we present to him things... He does have a mask that covers his chin. So maybe Luke could be him. But again, I don't think so because of the nose. It's too long. Her, on the other hand, because she's a thrill seeker. Hmm. So maybe she's using her husband's delusions to, like, make recordings of Mask to Mask. And then she dresses up as Mask to Masks and steals things using recordings to throw people off. Maybe. But still, hmm. First things first. Do you know the person? Is something wrong? Did the cat get your tongue or something? That photo leaves me with a distinctly indistinct feeling. Um... In this case, I'm afraid my pers... Perspicity has been left wanting. I think he's trying to say that he doesn't have any information. 
This will surely be Master Mask's final heist. Last time I came close and managed to retrieve the stolen treasure. Mark my words, this criminal of humanity will be found guilty in due time. And then I, look at me, Ace Detective will dance with joy. I have no clue what you're blabbering about, but I guess I'll find out soon. This man surrendered to the police, admitting that he was Mask Damask. Maybe so, but I'm not convinced that he's really behind the thefts. He is. He sounds pretty sure. Just look at his forehead. It's all in the shape of his mouth and eyes. This is the classic face of a thief. It's unmistakable. Is there anything that isn't unmistakable to you? Well, I guess we can activate the Magatama and see if we can perhaps go about seeing about at least checking out like what the game wants us to uh, like the line of questioning and such present the Magatama because it's only one lock and I think we've gone everywhere Detective Atme, you were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Mask Damask commit the crime. Well, now I can hardly see why you're so positive about that. Yes, indeed, I was guarding the warehouse. That much is true. But I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. I'm not sure why, but this Atme guy's lying through his teeth. I know, I'll show him some proof. Detective Admi, I have here proof that someone went through that door last night. There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once that night. What? Ooh, that was a quick one. But my monocle didn't catch anyone in its flash. It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It must be. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. What? Are you saying that I didn't do my duty properly? Detective Adme, you must have seen the thief last night. The question is why you're trying to hide it. If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. And I've got just the piece of evidence that should prove it. Okay, let's suppose you didn't manage to see Mask Damask. In that case, the reason you didn't at the time is because... You were fast asleep. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence. We don't have anything of evidence. We'll need to come back to this. Maybe because he... We needed to select three things. He was unconscious, going to the bathroom, or asleep. Maybe we need to ask more about him. Nope, she's still going crazy. Hmm. Yeah, but there's nothing really here that would prove that he was asleep. Maybe... Hmm, maybe you... Then again, the game could be pushing us in the direction that he was unconscious. Because that sword is bent. So if we don't find any other evidence, we'll redo the Magatama and say, yeah, I guess we're going to, hmm. And I think we showed everything. Do you know Luke? And then... I don't know if she already did this, and I'm a fool. I already went through this, I just thought my brain was on a... Just, like, grasping at straws. So I guess... 
Yeah, I guess all we have is maybe say he was unconscious and sight the sword. That's the only thing I can think of. Because we already got the camera data. And next up, it'll be like the, you were going to the bathroom, you were asleep, or you were unconscious. The only evidence piece that we have could is the Shichishito, I think. In that case, it was because either he was fast asleep, but we don't have any evidence. In fact, it seems like this is specifically asking, because, like, with the health bar up there, it does seem like selecting the wrong one here could also. Hmm. We can always reload if it does damage. Well, then again, unconscious. Kind of put your money where your mouth is, show me your evidence. Yeah, because the game was it did it does seem like the game is was pointing us in the right direction by having Maya beat <laughs> Phoenix over the head with a shito. Detective Atme, you were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? <laughs> Surely you must be joking. You think that I, Luke Atme, could have been knocked unconscious so easily? This sword proves it. Th that's. Before the theft, the sword was in the hand of, stat of the statue of Ami Fei. Furthermore, at that time, it was not bent. Uh, uh, there's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by this sword. Well, detective, how about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Also, title drop. Huzzah! I can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say. So, you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you? Clobber? What an ugly way of saying it. But I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed the thief had entered the warehouse? No, the coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. Ouch, Mr. Atme should have have his poor head examined. You can say that again. How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? Damask knocked Atme out with the, uh, during the crime with a blow to the back of the head. Well, looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Huh? What? That Atme is the greatest ace detective in the world? No, that he never actually saw the thief. Oh, that's right. So the thief may not even be Damask. Just one moment, sir, lawyer. The thief was unquestionably masked Damask. But you never actually saw him. Perhaps so, but I installed a security camera for such a contingency. Oh. Last night, the camera went off exactly once. Behold! This is a photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. And it is Damask. Th that's him! And it happened before one, though. Didn't the cam... Around one. Okay. Hmm. I wish that we could, like, review that the other, like, photos of Damask, because it seems a bit off compared to other ones. And the paint is there. Also, I love the Damask theme. It's so funky. Th that's him! The Mask Damask! The thief can be none other than that arch-criminal Mask Damask. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such brazen crimes. What are you talking about? So, what did you mean by he had a very good reason? 
Exactly that, Mr. Delight. Had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You'll need to go and investigate. B but how would you know about that? <laughs> Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective ever to walk on the face of the earth. The most brilliant mind since, well, ever. Look at me. Uh, well, I guess we better go take a look just in case. Excuse me, we need to invade your privacy. Hey, Nick, remember what Detective Atme said? <laughs> that thing he said literally five seconds ago? Exactly that, Mr. Delight had very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. But how did you know that? A green envelope, huh? Looks like this is it. Okay, let's have a look. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to the KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000. 50,000? This is a blackmail letter. Sure looks like a major clue, all right. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take about a second, I promise. Oh, thank you for coming. This is so nice of you. When I see a damsel in distress, I can't help... I just can't help myself. Please, come on in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Is it... Is it Dick Gumshoe? Wait a minute. I know that voice. Oh, Nicky boy, I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Ah! You! You're... What? Nick, it's you! And Maya, too! What a fluke! My brain was kind of leaning, but I didn't fully expect it. Ah, Larry! Long time no see! What? You know each other? N Nicky boy? Nick, do you, this girl have, you know, something going on? And why are you KB? Are you the security guard that called at 1.30? Something? If you mean what I, I underestimated you, Nick. A gorgeous lady like this. And married too? Way to go, dude. I know it. Just when things can't get any worse, it's time to queue in the butts. And you didn't show up in the last game, did you? I don't think Larry showed up in the last game. Come to think of it. Because he wasn't in the first one, or the second one, or the third one, or the fourth one. No, Larry wasn't in the last game. Larry Butts. Ever since grade school, he's been... Not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. Harsh. You, he was literally your first case. Hey, man, that wasn't nice. That was your very first client. We've got quite the storied history, he and I. And what he used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hey, come on now. You're embarrassing me. And in front of this pretty little thing here. So you two are old childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up on old times. I'm going to go check on my bike. Nice girl, that Desi. So how have you been, Nick? Too busy if you really want to know. Interesting. So what have you been up to this whole time? It's been two years since I heard from you. Really? Shouldn't it be a little less than that? Because of like how time works and we last saw him at the end of the farewell my turnabout, I think. And what's with those clothes? You look, well, weird. Hey man, that's a called for! This is my uniform for my part-time job! I can't believe it's been two years. They say time flies when you're having fun. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Huh? What's wrong? Nick, I gotta tell you. Women, I don't trust them anymore. You got dumped again? Well, you know, Benifer, I followed her all the way to Japan two years ago. <laughs> Hilarious considering the game originally took place there. That's where I met the famous Caddy Tom, and my whole life changed. Benifer, Caddy Tom? I never heard of either of them. Anyway, dude, Caddy Tom chose Hollywood over me! Can you believe it? Well, actually... <laughs> harsh, harsh, Maya. Anyway, sounds like you had quite the adventure. Women, they're so, so... Ah! Oh, but you're different, Maya. 
You're not like the rest. Looks like he's still the same old Larry. So what are you doing here anyway? Huh? What do you mean by that? It's just a natural born nice guy, that's all. Well, actually, I picked up this, uh, this up last night while I was working. A wallet? You say you found this last night. Yeah, I had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. Found by Larry at his part-time security jobs company building. Hang on. Let me see that for a minute. I knew it. Desi's picture is in here. Yeah, I guess he really digs his wife, huh? Hey, Nick! It's not what you're thinking at all! No, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. Ah, uh, no way, man. I mean, she's a married woman. That's just bad news. He really is here just to check out Miss Delight. So you said you found it at your job, right? Yeah, I'm working for a private security company as a guard. Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know? A security guard, huh? So that's what the uniform's all about. Do we trust him, though? How'd you find the wallet? So what time was it when you found this wallet last night? Huh? Why are you asking me that? Trying to see if I've got an alibi? Uh, you're not the one on the hook for a crime this time, buddy. I guess it was around 1 in the morning on the first floor of our company building. What's Mr. Delight's wallet doing there? Well, anyway, there's nothing weird about it. Because if we look... If you don't want your true identity revealed, come to the KB Security at 1 a.m. With $50,000. Wait. If you don't, I'll take the red diamond you received the other day instead. Weird. But that means that... That he couldn't be KB. After all, he works there. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight? Sure, here, take a look at this. It's right there in his wallet. What's this card? It's a key card for the security company. See, it's got a serial number on it, on the right, on, on it right there. There's no mistake about it. You said you're working part-time at a security company, right? That's right. Why are you making that scary face? Security company, huh? Something's not quite secure about Larry working there. <laughs> Poor man. I need to find out as much as I can about this card. Apparently used for the building of his part-time job. Do you know anything about this blackmail? Hey, Larry, what about this? What? If you've got something to say, then say it already. Huh? A blackmail letter? Wh what? I don't know anything about Alexis. Is And that's the truth. I think I skipped over something by accident by holding spacebar too long. Huh? What? I can't believe you do this to me! I thought you were my friend! Fifty thousand dollars! I don't have that kind of money! No, 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 you don't understand. This blackmail letter was sent to Ron Delight. Ooh! Man, you scared me! I almost had a heart attack, you idiot! Wait, I'm the idiot! Man, I was totally confused because you, it says KB Security right on the envelope. Uh, yeah, so what? That's where I've got a part-time job, at KB Security. What? what Sounds like I really should find out some more about this KB Security company. Poor guy. Well, I guess that's everything. But how would he know about the... the blackmail? I'm sorry, but I can't be more helpful. Okay, Nick just does a piddling of evidence hog. That's his defense style. A piddling evidence hog, you say? In that case, I'd simply be wasting my breath. Oh, no, that was at me. For some reason, I thought it was me because normally it shows their sprites when someone, like, it shows their sprite when they talk and no sprites except the normal person when I talk. Thanks, Maya. Why couldn't you have said I was a rival and not a piddling evidence hog? Nope, nothing else. For a moment, I thought there was a knife stuck in his diddly D. Like his hearth. Nope, she's still crazy. We'll quickly check the basement. 
Doesn't seem like there's anything different, and I doubt we can get any new information. So I guess we'll head to the detention center. Do, 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 do. What? Uh. Ah, KB Security. KB Security, the company in the blackmail letter. You know about it? That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I'm on the job right now. Huh? So what are you doing here then? Well, the boss is away right now, and you know what mice do and the cat's away. Yes, yes. Uh. Anyway, how far away is this company? Let me see. About 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, if you fly down the road, anyway. Uh, well, this apartment building is pretty close to the Lordly Taylor, right? And it would take roughly an hour to get from here to K... Uh, to go from here to KB Security and back. If Ron Delight was at KB Security when the robber robbery occurred, then... Whoa! Then he couldn't have stolen the Sacred Urn! Now do we head back? Darn! Is there more? <laughs> Do you know anything? <laughs> Security photo. Doesn't care. Do you know anything about this man? I just thought of something. What if it's actually a hot chick under that costume? Forget about it. It's a guy, trust me. Man, you're killing my buzz, dude! Boy, talk about someone who has a one-track mind. Hmm, but maybe now that we got all that, we can head back to the Atme Detective Agency? Hmm, nope, doesn't seem like it changed. Hmm. And you provide no hints. Hmm. So either something's here that I need to present, so... Didn't touch anything in the wallet, did you? Hey man, be serious! You know what I was interested in? If Master Mask doesn't look out, he's gonna be the victim of a robbery himself. Ha! <laughs> so you're sure about this key card? Yep, that's the key card that we use at the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one's for the CEO's office. You need to get into that room and every time... You need it to get into that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. It leaves a record? Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Larry, I need that data. Whoa, slow down, man. Sorry, but that data is off limits to outsiders. If I lost a job, I'd never have a chance of Desi. Sounds like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. Key card updated. Hey, Nick, your phone. Hello, is this the right, uh, the right residence? Ah, Pearls, where are you? I thought I'd go to the Lordly Taylor to find some more clues, but I'm afraid I've gotten lost. What? Give me that phone, Nick. But Pearly, where are you right now? Um, I was walking along and found myself in front of the, the that person's office. That person? Who? Um, that person who doesn't act his age and always says Zavari when he's excited. Look at me, Ace Detective. Okay, stay right there. We're coming to get you. All right. I'm a little scared. How'd you get a phone? All right, let's go, Maya. Wait a second, Nick. W what? A phone call just now. Sounds like a real cutie. He, she is nine years old, dude. Say goodbye to Mr. Life for me, would you, Larry? <laughs> yeah, seriously, Larry. Knock it off. Why is there a big photorealistic bag now? Ah, oh, Mr. Nick, Mystic Maya, Pearly. I never thought I'd see the two of you again. The fuck happened? So, is Mr. Race Detective out of the office? Yes, when I arrived here, there wasn't a single soul in sight. Say, Nick, does it look like something's changed since we were here last? Now that you mention it. Why is there just a bag here? This bag. I'm sure it wasn't here before. It looks quite full. I wonder what it could be in there. Hey, Nick, come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open his private property. Don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is important investigation. 
That's true. And truth be told, I have to admit, I am kind of curious. Well, what's in there? Hang on a sec, I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Well, hello there! Ah! He's here! What are you doing, sir lawyer? I'm shocked to see a servant of the court ignoring the law so flagrantly. I'm really sorry, but Maya made me do it! Nick, I can't believe you! A gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his own poor behavior. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lollygagging about? What do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial... Zavari! Shall we say, the figurative Sir William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime? What the fuck? <laughs> what do you even mean? Wow, Nick. Sounds like it's gonna be really exciting. Um, what's going to happen at the trial tomorrow that's so dramatic? Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, Sir Lawyer? It is becoming of a lawyer in the first place. That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. Harsh! Tomorrow will be a day to remember. I look at me will take the stand. And then, Zavari, my testimony will prove to be undoing of a lot of you. Yes, all of you. I will unmask you as the thieves, co-conspirators. Conspirators? <laughs> You're quick to the defensive, I see. However, it is not I that is your greatest enemy. There's a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. What are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Godot. Godot? You have taken a step down the path of foolishness. To try and defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight really is Damask. <laughs> My dear lady, times may change, but people sadly do not. Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. Um, who is this Godot person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Godot, the prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country but in heaven. Godot, a legend or myth. Men pen a lifetime of hopes on the chance to simply meet him. Prosecutor Godot? But the best prosecutor in the country isn't Godot, it's Mr. Edgeworth. Isn't that right, Nick? It's not a surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. But ace prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is currently traveling abroad. Huh? In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Godot as the best in this country. And you agree with that? Most certainly. In fact, you could call him the look at me of prosecutor's office. Well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. Mr. Nick, is this Godot really that strong? Hmm, I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. Not surprising that some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance. Looks like we're done investigating for the day. <laughs> so, lawyer, the stage has been set and all the pieces are finally in place. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. A new prosecutor, an ace detective, and a thief. This will be a tough trial. This is a very interesting intro to the case. But we meandered for so long. Nice jingle. I forget if it's the same jingle from the last time. But that is interesting. But since we meandered for so long, missing out on, like, <laughs> mostly w when it came to certain bits of, like, oh, we have to show this one thing to then be able to move on. But I don't think we'll begin the court session because we already spent two hours on that investigation. And then we'll just end up going for four hours long. Spoiler warning, Phoenix Wright is a lawyer. Well, technically he's a defense attorney, primarily. But yes, lawyer still all the same. The most shocking. <laughs> that would actually be amusing. Now my brain is going, what if there was like a fan mod of Ace Attorney trilogy? And like maybe even the Apollo Justice one when that comes out. And you just line up all of the cases chronologically. That would be interesting. But. 
we're gonna move ahead just enough to look over the evidence because things are interesting. We technically have proof that Ron Delight wasn't at the crime scene and Damask was at the crime scene at one, while Ron Delight should have been at the KB security building at one. Or at least somebody with his security badge. And then, actually, blackmail letter. If you don't want your true identity revealed... So does that mean that Desiree has to be Damask? No. Hmm. Ba 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 ba. My brain. Hmm. Because technically, the blackmail letter could be addressed to Desiree. And she used her wife's. Uh, her wife's? Her husband's wallet with the key card to get into KB Security to drop off the $50,000. But considering that. Damask was cited. Doubtful because Ron can't be Damask, right? I highly doubt that they would go essentially twice in a row giving Phoenix a guilty like participant. Granted, Ron does seem to be a bit odd, so it's possible that maybe he was coerced into stealing it. But overlooking this, it does seem odd that the box is, is missing from the paint. Because obviously, the box that held the urn had paint on it, and the paint is days old. But maybe that's a piece of thing that will come later. So days ago, the box was there and got paint spilled on it. But instead of cleaning up the paint, they picked up the box. Or I guess only noticed later and picked up the box. And then I guess put it in the main storage area and then just covered up the paint with the statue. Hmm. Hmm. And it was only cited once, but wouldn't that also be... Like, I feel like that should be a point to talk about. That the camera went off once... It didn't see Damask going in, only leaving. And I wonder if that would be important. Hmm. So the paint is going to be important. The blackmail is important. And Ron's wallet was found at KB Security. So I feel like Luke isn't Mask Damask. Again, mostly the nose. And I guess a bit of the chin. You don't see any of the butt chin, but then that could just be artistic lying where they cover up the chin and be like, oh, there's no butt chin. And if the mask, it could just be finagling. It obviously can't be Ron Delight. It could be Desiree because she is a thrill seeker. Hmm. And jumping back a bit, during the conversation they said that it would overall be an hour round trip to go to KB Security and back again if you really floored it. And Desiree said that she was out on her motorcycle that night and got pulled over at about three. You could make an Ace Attorney style game in any game's universe and everyone would want it. Maybe. I know that there was a Phoenix Wright My Little Pony fan game. And then I think there was another My Little Pony fan game that was kind of Phoenix Wrighty without Phoenix Wright in it. But I don't know. I haven't played them. Who knows? Maybe in the far off future I'll <laughs> look into fan games of things for the giggles. So yeah, this is a very interesting setup for the case, especially because it's the first time that it's not a murder, which is hilarious to me. <laughs> it's not a murder, which almost makes it more difficult. So the urn was being carried in a box that was covered in paint, 
days ago, there's only one account of somebody entering or leaving, and it's Damask leaving. I've heard of the existence of a Phoenix Wright X XCOM camera uh, Camera Squad fan game. How would that even work? <laughs> a Phoenix Wright X XCOM Chimera Squad, because Chimera Squad was fun. I really liked it. I need to play it again sometime. But yeah, that's... I don't know how that would work, but that's... An, that is interesting. <laughs> that is very interesting. Hmm. But yeah, this is a very interesting setup. And I cannot wait to go to experience it. Also can't wait to go and, like, run into Godot for the first time. He's the coffee guy, right? The Cyclops-looking man. I mean, if you just sit in the base and listen, especially during the Sacred Coil investigation, there is a ton of stuff. It's been a long time since I played, so you probably forget, but I really did enjoy the characters. Although there is a little bit of kind of randomness to getting some of them, I think. It's, again, it's been a long time. I need to play it again. It was fun. It was very fun. Like, 90% of the game's story is crammed into background dialogue. That's amusing. But yes, I cannot wait to see more of what the first true case of Trials and Tribulations will be. And again, we spent like two hours doing the investigation, so we can't really stop the trial part, or we'll be here forever. At the start, if you don't do the tutorial, you can just pick whichever four starting operatives you want. Oh, yeah. But I also kind of like... Hmm, I'll have to try it again again. Yeah, I'll need to play it again sometime. Hmm. Because I really do like the characters in that. And that is also a continuation of XCOM 2. They were fun games. I need to actually go through a... I forget if I actually played through the entirety of XCOM 2. I think I did. It's, a, it's been a long time since I played the XCOM games. They were fun. But yes. We spent too long investigating that if we started the trial now, it would be here forever. So I think we'll stop here so that things are better paced and I don't just spend five billion years here and get deep vein thrombosis. So, yes, this time we just found a bunch of winding wires of thought. Luke at me is a weird character. Ron Delight is a weird character. Desiree Delight is also kind of a weird character, and Larry Butts has returned. I didn't even realize he wasn't in the second game all that much for some reason. And Edgeworth has decided to flounder off again. But this time, uh, Ed Phoenix isn't being weird and ominously saying he's dead metaphorically to me because I'm being a drama queen. So, yes. And that will be it for now. It's a very interesting startup, but I can't wait to see what else there is to this case. So, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, you can follow me on various places, like my edited content YouTube channel, I swear. Content is coming soon. I'm looking over scripts more. Energy is here. Maybe more will come soon. Your Honor, this evidence proves with zero doubt that my client was wearing his psionic temper. <laughs> That would be, that is actually a, that's actually, that would be a cool aesthetic. Phoenix Wright in the half-human, half-alien Earth, actually. I'll have to look and see if it does exist, because that sounds just fascinating. But yes, edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, content's coming someday. If you want more streaming content from me, I have my Twitch channel, Neon Icy Wings, and the YouTube streaming channel, Neon Icy Games, that all of these streams also get backed up to. So if you want to watch my previous streams of the Mass Effect Trilogy, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Pokemon Yellow Crystal Emerald, and Pokemon Blue Rescue Team, all of them are there. And then my brain is melting for some reason. There. Yeah. And then if you want other things from me, like art, similar to my little guy in the corner, I also have various social medias I post art to. There are just so many. Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, Pillowfort, so many. The links can be found in my link tree, which should be linked in the various places, bios, descriptions, link places, and should be linktr.ee slash neonicywings. 
for the direct links along with my writing link and my Patreon if people want to be kind and save a few dollars my way so the world is slightly less bleak. Mm. <laughs> if it doesn't exist, I will learn how to make it. That's me with my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. But Emmett gets thrown into Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Hisui idea. And there was also another fan game I or maybe not fan game, but like a, a game idea. But my brain has just forgotten it because brain is filled with too many ideas. But yes, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Keep smiling, keep dreaming, keep living. Rest well, friends. Bye, bye. <laughs> Why does your voice remind me of Puffin Forest? I don't even know who that is. I am a sheltered fool. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much. Bye. Thank you.